Hi guys and welcome to today's video in which we are going to be looking at changing the subject of the formula. Now it often happens that the variable we are looking for is not the subject of the equation or formula. So if we take for example um, area which is length multiplied by breadth. If we know the area um, and length uh, we can actually still use the same formula, the same one, to calculate the breadth. And there are two possible methods uh, in which we can do this. So let's look at both and let's let's get a typical example. So let's say uh, the area equals 12 square meters and we've got the length which is going to be 3 meters. Okay, We want to work out what the breadth is going to be but we want to use the same formula. Okay, So let me just do this. Method 1 that we can use. Remember we are still saying area equals length multiplied by breadth and I'm going to put method two over there. So method one says okay well we're using area equals length multiplied by breadth but it's breadth that we actually want. So we're going to start with breadth. It's going to be b equals and then we'll have area over the length. So whatever the area is which is 12 square centimeters divided by the length, which is 3, that will be my breadth. And 3 divided by 12 is going to give me 4 over 1, which is going to give me an answer of 4 meters. Method 2 is where I do exactly the same thing. I've still got my area equals length multiplied by breadth, right? So I'm going to stick with that. I'm going to go area, that's my 12 square meters and I'm going to say 3 multiplied by B okay because I want to get uh, the answer B so what I'm now going to do is I'm going to divide the two that I have so I'm going to go 12 meters squared divided by 3 or well, 3 meters and that's going to give me my answer of B and again when I divide these I end up with four meters as my answer. So you can see I've got two distinct ways of still calculating the same thing but in essence I'm still using my original formula uh, area equals length multiplied by breadth. Now this can get a little more complex when we are dealing with um, the area of a circle. Right? Remember that formula is area equals pi r squared. Okay, so uh, let's look at, again, two methods that we can calculate this. Let's say we've got the area, but we don't have the radius. Remember, we already know what pi is. I'm just going to pop it here. Pi is always going to be 3, 1, 4, 2. Okay, that's pi. We know what it is. It's a constant, so it's fine. So they give us the area, and they tell us that the area is 54 square millimeters okay so our first method is where we're going to say okay well a equals pi r squared so what are we going to do now we're going to take that a equals um, pi r squared and we are going to divide both sides by pi okay the reason for that is we want to cancel this out so i'm going to go a equal uh, a over pi and then we're going to divide this by pi as well. So what's going to happen guys, this is going to cancel out, that's going to cancel out and then I'm going to have a over pi equals r squared. Okay, now how do I get rid of a square? I'm going to have to bring in a square root. So now I'm going to have to go a divided by pi, put a square root over there equals and if I put a square root over my r squared, that is then going to give me a over pi equals r. So now I'm getting closer to what I actually want. Okay. Do I have a? Yes. A is 54. Right. Still over pi. And that's still going to give me r. Okay. Now... What are we going to do? 
we're gonna pop this in the calculator so guys you can put this you can put this into the calculator as is and you can go square root 54 over 3.142 and you can see there it's going to give me four comma so r will equal four comma one four six all right you can see the answer there four comma because i'm just rounding it off four comma one four six and that's the one method that i can use let's look at method number two remember we're still saying a equals pi r squared that is to get the area of my circle so i still i have 54 millimeters squared that they told me is uh, the area and we are looking for the radius right okay so with method number two i'm going to leave it as is and now i'm going to say straight you know 54 equals pi r squared do i have the area yes i do okay what am I going to do with that now? Remember, I want to cancel out pi. So how do I do that? I'm going to go 54 divided by pi equals pi r squared divided by pi. And those two are going to cancel out, which is then going to give me 54 over pi equals r squared. Okay, so that is what that is going to give me now. Does it look similar to what I did before? Yes, because it's going to give me that same thing. I know what 54, I can now take 54 and say, well, okay, 54 uh, divided by 3.14, and that should give me, you know, 17.197. That is R squared. And when I get to the square root, or I calculate then the square root of that, it will end up giving me my 4.1. 1.5 or 4.16 equals r okay so that's how i can determine my radius so guys you can see what is basically happening i'm dividing by pi to get pi out of the equation um, so that i can just get my r squared and then when something has a square i'm going to use my square root to get that down to just a single r Okay, so that square root function actually takes that away. But obviously what I do to the one side, I'm going to have to do to the other side.